All right, well, welcome back to the fourth video in this series. I thought I was only going to do three, but I decided to keep this one. This one was relatively cheap, uh, being only, I think, like 18 bucks, and it's made by Icy Doc, uh, just like the other video where I kind of led you down the wrong path there, but I'm going to keep this one because it is toolless, pretty cheap, and the only... I'll only have two of them. I'll have this and I'll have my Asus one that actually came with this motherboard when I purchased it for the She-Hulk. So, those are the two that I'm going to keep. Uh, I already had that one. This one I bought extra for doing a video, so I'm going to keep that one. So, I wanted to demonstrate that one for you and so you can see it and um, see how it comes apart and goes back together. So, stick around for that. Don't go anywhere. This is the box that it came in. Even though it says 4.0, I'm kind of wondering because up top it says 3.0. So it comes with some instructions here and nothing, even the instructions say 3.0. I don't think anywhere on here it says 3.0, but yeah, somebody just like slapped a sticker on it. it says 3.0, 4.0 compatible, or compliant, not compatible. So anyway, let me demonstrate how this works. So you can either come back here and take the whole thing off. It's just these little, little clips, but they're not, they're, they're just, you just gotta move them a little bit and they push right out. Let me see if I can get you a little closer at them. It's kind of hard to see, but they just push away. So you can do it that way, but actually the instructions want you to push, push in on this just a little bit and then rock it off like that. That was kind of crazy there. But anyway, I have my drive in there. You just push in these tabs right here on either side and, oh look at that, and you can pull it back all the way if you wanted to and remove it. Now again, if you push those tabs back here off and then pull it off, this whole piece comes off too. But otherwise, if you keep that in, just put your M.2 in there, make sure it's NVMe, and then you're going to push on the sides here. I say on the sides here. And make sure this goes in the little groove right there. Like that. And now it's locked in. Now you can take this cover. And I don't, I guess it doesn't really matter which direction it goes on, but do one side at a time because it's got these grooves on the back. It's very groovy. Go over the top of it like that. And done. We're going to turn bifurcation back on. So I'm going to put it in the top slot. I got to switch that over. I've done this so many times that I kind of just know where to go now. It's very hard to see though. It's the ref in. So we want that one. We're going to go down to Hyper. Actually, I don't need Hyper on. No, I do not need Hyper on. I just was thinking about that. Because it will autom should automatically default. So, discard changes. It should automatically put the graphics card into a by eight and then the other one a by eight which is perfectly fine 
So it's only when you're running two or three uh, M.2s extra. So uh, this is definitely going to be hard for me to see because I'm not zoomed in anymore like I was before. But let's make sure we're seeing the drive. And we are. So let's start Crystal Disk. And yes. And we're going to check the D. So we're either going to see 30, about 3,500, or we're going to see closer to 7,000. So if we see 3,500, we know, okay, well, there's our answer. Um, now, if you don't want to run your graphics card at potentially half its capability, then put this type of unit in your lowest slot. Like I have three uh, by 16 slots and it will run at Gen 3 speeds then. So um, you, you'll see about 3,500, which is still plenty fast for transferring files, playing games, doing whatever. So, yeah, that's good. Um, all right, so we're gonna wrap that video up real quick right now. When I talked about the Sabrent, um, you know, probably two or three weeks ago as you're watching these in order, I um, this one requires a screwdriver to get it apart and I'm just not as fond with it. Now this one, I didn't put a thermal pad on it, but it does come with one. So I just put it in quick just for testing purposes. And um, now I'm going to keep that one, but send everything else that I received back because I just, I'm not happy with them. And they're very expensive. When you're talking about uh, these guys, just the single one is over $100. The double one is over $200. Now, if you, you, if you can come up with a reason why you would want to shut down your computer and change them out quick, be able to change them out quick, have at it. I'll put the links down below, but... Um, you know, you can check them out for yourself and see what you need. But I think that the cheaper way going into your PC and doing it this way is much more efficient on your wallet. So um, anyway, with that said, feel free to leave a comment down below if you wish. If you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing and hit that little bell icon to get notified for any future videos that I do post. And give this thing a thumbs up, please. Show your support. And also continue to smile. And until next time, take care.